What if one of the richest men in the world started with nothing but an idea? A teenager in Seattle with a passion for computers dropped out of Harvard University and went on to change the world. Bill Gates' journey from a curious young programmer to the co-founder of Microsoft is one of the most fascinating stories in modern business history. In a time when computers were bulky and expensive, Gates saw a future where every home and office would have access to a personal computer. And not just any computer. He envisioned a world where software would be the heart of that revolution. His story is one of risk, innovation, and determination. Microsoft didn't just change the way we work, it changed the way we live. But Gates's story isn't only about business, it's about philanthropy and the legacy of giving back. How did Bill Gates go from being the king of software to the world's leading philanthropist? Let's take a look at how his vision transformed an industry and how he continues to make a global impact today. Early Life and the Spark of Innovation Bill Gates was born on October 28, 1955, in Seattle, Washington, into a family that valued education and intellectual achievement. His father, William H. Gates Sr., was a prominent lawyer, and his mother, Mary Gates, was a school teacher and a businesswoman. Early on, Gates displayed an exceptional talent for math and science, excelling academically. At the age of 13, Gates developed his first computer program a simple tic-tac-toe game for a computer he didn't own, which ignited his passion for technology. Recognizing his unusual talent, Gates's parents sent him to a private school, where he further nurtured his interest in programming. By the time Gates was 15, he had already written software that helped companies schedule their employees' shifts. His love for computing was so strong that by the time he entered Harvard University, he had already begun to see the possibilities of personal computing. Yet the more he learned, the more he realized that the future of technology lay beyond academia. And in 1975, he made the bold decision to leave Harvard and pursue a career in software development, founding Microsoft. In 1975, Bill Gates, along with his childhood friend Paul Allen, saw an enormous opportunity in the burgeoning personal computer industry. After reading about the Altair 8800, a revolutionary microcomputer kit developed by MITS. Gates and Allen realized that the personal computer could change the world, but it needed software to make it user-friendly. Inspired by this, they founded Microsoft, originally Microsoft, with the goal of developing software for the Altair. Gates's first major break came when IBM, the leading computer manufacturer at the time, approached Microsoft in need of an operating system for their new personal computer. Gates and Allen didn't have an operating system to offer, but they quickly struck a deal with IBM, purchasing an existing system, 86DOS, and adapting it for the IBM PC. This system was rebranded as MSDOS. The deal with IBM was crucial in establishing Microsoft as a major player in the software world. Gates and Allen's vision was not just to sell software but to license it, allowing them to make money on every copy of MS EOS that was sold, regardless of the hardware manufacturer. The Rise of Windows By 1985, Microsoft had already established itself as a leader in software, but Bill Gates and his team wanted to take things to the next level. At the time, most personal computers still relied on text-based interfaces, where users had to type commands to interact with the system. Gates saw the potential for a graphical user interface, GUI, to make computers more accessible and user-friendly for the masses. In response, Microsoft launched Windows 1.0 in 1985, a revolutionary operating system that allowed users to interact with their computers using a mouse and graphical windows. While Windows initially faced skepticism and fierce competition, especially from Apple, Gates remained confident that his vision would prevail. Windows 3.0, released in 1990, proved to be a game-changer, introducing a more stable, faster, and easier-to-use system. As Microsoft continued to refine Windows with subsequent releases, it quickly gained dominance in the personal computing market. The Billionaire Visionary Bill Gates' journey to becoming one of the wealthiest people in the world is as much about vision as it is about execution. By the time he turned 30, Gates had already become a billionaire, and Microsoft had grown into one of the most valuable companies in the world.
His strategy wasn't just about creating great software, it was about creating software that could be licensed to multiple computer manufacturers. This business model allowed Microsoft to earn royalties on every copy of Windows and MS DDoS sold, creating a revenue stream that propelled the company to new heights. Cates's leadership and foresight positioned Microsoft as the dominant force in personal computing, and by the early 1990s, Windows and Office were industry standards, powering millions of computers worldwide. However, Gates's success wasn't without controversy. Microsoft faced intense legal scrutiny for its monopolistic practices, particularly its bundling of Internet Explorer with Windows, which led to the famous antitrust case in 1998, philanthropy and giving back. In 2008, after more than three decades of leading Microsoft, Bill Gates stepped down from his day-to-day -day role at the company to focus on philanthropy. Along with his wife, Melinda, Gates founded the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which would go on to become one of the world's largest and most influential charitable organizations. The foundation focuses on solving some of the world's most pressing issues, including global health, poverty alleviation, and education. Gates committed to giving away the vast majority of his wealth to support these causes, with a particular emphasis on improving health care and combating diseases like malaria, polio, and HIV AIDS. The foundation has spent billions of dollars to fund initiatives that have saved millions of lives around the world. Gates has also been a key figure in the global effort to improve education, particularly in underserved areas. His focus on innovation and evidence-based solutions in philanthropy has helped bring about tangible improvements in many parts of the world. The Legacy of Bill Gates and Microsoft Bill Gates's impact on the world is undeniable. His creation of Microsoft fundamentally changed the way people interact with technology, bringing personal computing into the mainstream. Today, Microsoft's software especially Windows and Microsoft Office, is the backbone of the personal computing industry, used by millions of individuals and businesses around the globe. Gates' ability to foresee the potential of software and his relentless pursuit of innovation helped create an industry that is now worth trillions of dollars. But Gates' legacy extends beyond technology. Through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, he has devoted his wealth and time to addressing some of the most critical issues facing humanity. Gates's philanthropic work has saved lives, improved education, and helped lift people out of poverty. His work in global health, in particular, has had a profound impact on reducing disease and improving sanitation in some of the world's poorest regions. Gates's approach to both business and philanthropy has shaped an entire generation of entrepreneurs, philanthropists, and innovators. His story serves as a reminder that with vision, determination, and a commitment to making a difference, one person can change the world. Even in the face of criticism and obstacles, Gates's ability to adapt, innovate, and give back has made him one of the most influential figures in modern history. Bill Gates's legacy is more than just the software empire he built. It's the impact he's had on the world through his innovations and philanthropy. From revolutionizing personal computing with Microsoft to tackling global health crises through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Gates has shown that success isn't just about wealth. It's about creating positive change. He took the wealth and power he accumulated and dedicated it to solving some of humanity's most pressing issues helping millions of people across the globe. Bill Gates didn't just create a company, he created a movement, a movement of innovation, philanthropy, and progress. So what can we learn from Gates's journey? It's a reminder that with vision and hard work, we all have the power to change the world in our own way. If you're inspired by Bill Gates's story, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, Share and subscribe for more stories of the people who are shaping our future. Remember, true success is about more than what you build. It's about the legacy you leave behind.